Today is the last day of October, so this means that we are going to talk about how much money my two Etsy shops made in the month of October. I exclusively sell digital products. I try to automate as much of this business as possible. And if you saw my recent Etsy income reports, you know that uh, sales are down for me. I know that the competition increased very much in my niche, but I'm trying to keep up and I'm adding new product. Uh, these are ready, they just need to be uploaded to the Etsy platform. And I hope that with these new products and the holiday team, the ones that I'm working on right now, the sales will pick up in the month of November. But without any further ado, let's talk about October's numbers. Now we are looking at the statistics dashboard for the month of October. I'm filming this mid-noon, so there is still time to get some sales. But I do not think that I will get uh, many. I think that uh, based on the numbers from the la past few weeks, I think that the sales will hover around 100-120 euros. To today's number you can add another 50 to 70 euros and that would be the final number for the month of October. So let's take a look at the numbers. Here we are in the statistics dashboard as I said. And we had 19,000 sales which is the same as last year in the month of October. This means that we got the same amount of visits in the shop. Because it says, I just clicked on the compare button, and it says we got the same amount of visits in the shop as last year. The days were a little bit different, but uh, overall we had the same amount of visits. <laughs> now is where the sad part starts. We had 507 orders. And we have here a decrease of 28% compared to last year. Almost all of the days were lower than uh, in October 2021. As you can see, the gray line is uh, last year. Conversion rate fell also from uh, 3.1, 3.2 to 2.7. This is partly, I think, this is partly because of the algorithm update and uh, also the new increased competition in this niche. And the revenue, it says that we made 36% less than last year. That's almost 40% and uh, this is very sad, but we still made uh, a decent amount of money. And we will talk about the revenue and the actual profit after the Etsy fees in just a second when we go to the finances section. But yes, as you can see, we had quite a few days where we were well below the numbers from last year. Let's take for a look the 4th of October. Last year we made 321 euros and this year only 180. And here is another big jump. Last year it was 289 and today it's 115. Let's take a look at the order numbers from those exact dates. So on the 4th I had 33 orders last year and here I had 35 compared to 18. So there is quite a big discrepancy. Let's hope that the month of November with these new listings... If you saw my previous video where I did the quarterly reset, I created a little business plan for Q4 of this year of with goals and plans that I would like to accomplish before the end of the year. There I was talking about adding 25 to 30 new listings. I am ready with around 30 to 35 listings, something like that. So that is the top of my goal. That will be a very easy one to accomplish. But I'm planning to add at least 15 to 20 more with the holiday team. So that's what uh, I will focus on in the month of October. And now that the holidays are coming, I hope that people will start to search for holiday themed templates. That is my way of compensating for the decreased amount of orders to come up with holiday themed ones. Now let's talk about the actual numbers. For the template shop, I will cover the printable planner shop in just a second. As you can see, we had total sales of 3,624 euros. Let's add another 50 to this and let's say we had 3,670 euros. Let's make it round. It's a little bit more than last month. We had one refund some sales tax and some VAT. I think that recently a bigger percentage of my clients are from the Eurozone because I see that the VAT amount is increasing from month to month. Because many people are starting to find out about Etsy in Europe too and they are starting to shop there. And not just in the States where it is more of a common thing to shop on Etsy. Let's see the fees. It was a staggering amount of 679 euros. Here are the listing fees. 
the transaction fees and the processing fees. I cannot do anything about this because these are standard Etsy fees. And if you would like to know how to calculate your profit margin, my next video will be all about how you can calculate your profit margin with or without sales. It is a very useful video and I think it will give you a lots of lots of information, so keep an eye out for that one. And at the end we have the marketing cost. I don't know if I mentioned this before or not, but I decreased my uh, marketing uh, spend from 10 at the beginning, 10 euros a day or 10 dollars to 8 and now I decreased it to 7 and I cannot see any major changes, but we will take a look at the marketing tab in a second. Etsy ads were 226 euros, offsite ads 42 and the Etsy Plus subscription. And if you saw my previous uh, income report or the ones before that, even from April or May, you can see that the Etsy Plus subscription value is changing, it's going up. This is because of the US dollar and euro exchange rate because uh, the dollar is getting stronger and this means that the euro, the amount that I have to pay in euros is increasing as well. But it's not a very big amount. And the grand profit for this shop is 2,600 65 euros at this point and let's add another 50 to that. So 2,750 euros in profit in the month of October. This is slightly better than the previous month. So I'm very hopeful that an increasing trend is starting at this point and we will have more sales in the month of November. And now let's take a look at the marketing tab because you know that I run Etsy ads in the shop and we spent 212 euros and uh, we got 267 euros in return. So there is a profit of about 50 euros and I am not sure if it's worth it to run the ads if, if the payoff is only 50 euros at the end of the month. But let's see, we had 32,000 visits, 760 clicks, 39 orders from the Etsy ads, that means I had about one, one and a half each day. The revenue and the profit. Here are the clicks. I get, it's kind of sad that uh, seven dollars a day only buys you seven clicks a day. Here are the orders, as you can see, about one a day. Here were five, but here were none. Here were zero, four days in a row, but I still spend the seven dollars. So, yeah, it's not, not the best. And here you can see the decrease where I spent eight and the next day I only spent seven. And after the new year, starting from January, I will consider dropping it down to five dollars a day and we will see what will the results be because if it's still 50 euros at the end of the month or the same percentage then I will rethink Etsy ads. Okay now let's move on to the printable planner shop. I will use my phone as usual for this. We had 8,500 visits, 88 orders, 1% uh, conversion rate, the printable planner niche is very oversaturated as you can see in my conversion rate numbers and we had a revenue of 448 euros. Let's see the orders. Last year we had 36% more. The conversion rate fell a little bit and the orders decreased 40% here as well. I put more energy into the template shop and the sales still fell 40%. So that's why I think the Etsy algorithm has a big part to play in this decrease, not just that there are as many shoppers. I think that there are enough shoppers for everyone and enough clients. But the Etsy algorithm change just shook everything and that's how it is now. Okay, um, traffic. As usual, Etsy brought 60% of the views and I brought 41. And out of this 441 euro sales, we had one refund, some sales tax and some VAT. The profit was 354 euros, almost 355. Let's see the fees, 73 euros and 98 cents for Etsy fees and 12 euros 72 for the marketing costs. So that is as it usually goes. I do not like that 40% decrease in the sales amount, in the profit as well, but that is it. I have to put some energy eventually into this shop as well. It has been on my to-do list like since and now October is over, so for quite a, some time. And because my schedule got very busy with YouTube and updating the other shop, creating new designs, 
and working on the course Passive Income with Printables. The waitlist link is down in the description box down below. That's how life goes. You get busy and you cannot accomplish all of your goals. But we still have two months out of this year where we can accomplish a lot. That was it for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoy these monthly videos and if you are still watching and you are still here and you like this kind of content, please comment down below digital product and hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Consider subscribing to my channel as I have many other important videos coming up and hit the notification bell so you will never miss another video in which I talk about digital products, making money online and business finance. I created a playlist with all of monthly income reports from this year. I did one every month starting in March, I believe. You can click here to watch the whole playlist. I will see you soon. Bye bye.